In this video, I'll show you how to work with data in the dashboard using cards. I already have a project open here with a dashboard designer connected to a database. To add new cards, click on the button here in the ribbon. Drop the sales field to the actual placeholder of the cards section. The card will display a total sales value. Then, drop the profit field to another actual placeholder to see a total profit value on another card. You can slice sales and profit values by the required dimension using the series section. Drag and drop the product subcategory field to the series to see product sales by subcategories. To see the profit by subcategory, use the values button in the cards caption. It allows you to switch between different layers. Let's check out the delta options. Add the sales target field to the target placeholder for the absolute variation between sales and sales target values. To display the percent variation within cards, click the options button next to the data item container and switch the value type to percent variation. If you need to, you can change the result indication to warning. You can also specify the threshold value to disable delta indication for cards whose values are smaller than this interval. Cards can also use spark lines. They help visualize the variation of actual or target values over time. Drag and drop the order date field to the spark line section and change its group interval to quarter year. Click the options button here to change spark line options. For example, I'll change this sparkline view type to area and disable highlighting of start and end points. Let's change the names displayed in the card's caption. Use the Edit Names command in the context menu. Here, you can specify the dashboard item name and names for each set of values. Cards also support various data shaping features as well as other dashboard items. To sort subcategories by sales values, click the Product Subcategory menu button and select Sort by Sales. Then, switch the sort order to descending by clicking the data item. To filter the card, use the Edit Filter command. In the editor, specify the criteria and click OK to filter the card. To reset filtering, use the clear command. Now let's look at the drill down feature. When it's enabled, you can change the detail level of displayed data. I'll add the product name field to series. Now you can click on the card corresponding to the required subcategory to see sales for corresponding products. Use the drill up button in the card's caption to go back. Let's see how to add some interactivity to these cards. Add a new chart dashboard item and use it to display sales by customer segment. Select the card, go to the Data tab and enable Multiple Master Filter. Select the required card to filter the chart on the right according to the selected subcategories. If you need to, you can drill down to products by double clicking the required card and filter the chart by selecting the required products. Click the clear master filter button to reset filtering. The Ignore Master Filter buttons makes the dashboard item unaffected by master filters. Let's look at options that affect card layout settings. You can rearrange cards within the dashboard item automatically. This is controlled by the Auto Arrange button. To arrange cards in specified number of columns, use the Arrange in Columns button and the Arrange in Rows button allows you to arrange the cards in a specific number of rows. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and thank you for choosing DevExpress.